Hello everybody, my name is Cirque and welcome back to another episode of The Circus, my single player Let's Play series. I've been playing around with the roof on this thing a little bit. Uh, all I did was I extended out the ends uh, a couple of blocks and I don't know, I don't know. I really like having these big overhangs on the ends of the houses, uh, but I've done it a few times already and I feel like I'm just... I'm only doing it because that's what I've done in the past and I kind of like it. Uh, like I'm, I'm stuck in sort of a building rut. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it actually looks good. Like it just seems if you have a roof that just ends and it's all flat, uh, to me it almost looks too plain. But I know that that's not the case. I know you can do that and it looks good. <laughs> Uh, so I don't know if I'm just like biased or what. Uh, this side, it extends out two blocks and it kind of hangs over the balcony, which I like. Uh, one thing that I think if I do keep that, I need to change is th this whole curve thing because uh, it's it's too much of a curve right in the middle and then it's like flat on the outside. So I'd have to adjust that a little bit if I kept it like this. Um, but what I'm talking about is like right now, this extends over one block. The way that we had it was it stopped like that. Um, I guess we'll pillar up with some stairs if we can uh, and try and reach these. Uh, so we'd, we'd take these out and I can't really reach that, but that's that's basically what it was like. Uh, I wonder if we can, we can get up on this tree and get over there, can't we? Yeah, there we go. I'll just take all this out so you can see. Uh, so this is what it looked like before, just flat. And I feel like it's just, it's not interesting enough, but I don't know if extending out the roof really makes it any better. So I don't know, not entirely sure. Uh, but today I want to keep working on this logging town. Uh, we need to do some terraforming. Uh, so I need to grab um, a shovel, maybe a couple of shovels. What? St. Patrick's Town. Where did that come from? Is there something... Magical dropper of decision. What are you doing here? I I don't need you today. I know what I'm working on. We're gonna work on the uh, we're gonna work on the logging town. Uh, what do you have in here? St. Patrick's Town. Patrick's Town. St. Patrick's Town. Come on. No. St. Patrick's Town. What are you doing? No. No. We're not gonna work on St. Patrick's Town. I don't want to. We're working on the logging village today. So today we're gonna work on the St. Patrick's Day town. I, I suppose if the magical dropper of decision has decided, then that's what we'll work on. <laughs> uh, it's not that I don't want to work on, on the holiday towns. I love this build idea and it's kind of fun to celebrate the holidays in this way. Um, it's just that it's uh, like I'm, I really want to get going on the logging village and I have some other things I want to work on. I feel like we just got done with Easter or with Valentine's and Easter is only a month away. Uh, it's kind of like a busy holiday season, I guess. Uh, and also like right now, I'm just, I'm not really set up to do this kind of stuff. Uh, I don't have a lot of resources. I don't have the best tools and we're pretty far away from spawn and it takes a while to run back and forth. Uh, I think, I think next year or maybe even like in a few months, once we get to maybe, uh, like Independence Day, and definitely once we get to Halloween, we should be a lot more set up, and this whole process should be a little bit uh, easier. But anyways, uh, this should be about where we're going to go. Uh, I'll probably have to move the portal a little bit. I'm not sure what the exact coordinates are supposed to be. It looks like uh, 3600, 744. So yeah, we're pretty close. Uh, which way is 3600? 3600 is over that way. 744 is over that way, so maybe like up on that hill is where we're supposed to be. Uh, I want to get these portals like matched up exactly, and let's take a quick sleep here. Uh, so uh, one thing though is we're not going to do a lot out here this year. Uh, we're not going to do. I just want to spend one episode out here, uh, just do a little bit. Uh, I know we spent <laughs> we spent a few days at uh, Christmas Town, and we spent a few days at Valentine's Town trying to knock or put some things together. And uh, right now, I just I want to do put a little thing out here or put a little bit out here and uh, call it good, uh, so we can get back to our normal stuff. Um, so my ideas, I have a couple ideas for this year. Uh, the first one is we need to do something for the portal. Uh, I definitely want to get that set up. Uh, that's kind of like the main thing and what everything else is going to be built around. 
Uh, and I think my idea is we're going to do like a big, a giant leprechaun's hat. Uh, it's going to be a big green hat with maybe a shamrock on it, or there will be some sort of shamrock design on the front. And uh, that will house our portal. The other thing I want to do, which I guess it will probably go up there because the, the center of the holiday towns, I believe, are that way. Yeah, that's the south, southeast. Actually, I think straight south is the center of all these holiday towns. Valentine's Town is over that way. Christmas Town is over that way. Um, so everything that we build is going to probably be off in that direction. I want to build away from the center uh, so that if, I don't know, <laughs> it probably would never happen. But if these towns did get big enough, they won't like uh, get too close to each other where you can see the other town. But anyways, uh, one thing that I liked, like with Christmas Town, we had the North Pole off in the distance. Uh, Valentine's, we didn't really do anything big off in the distance. We did have like the the heart sculpture uh, fountain thing uh, up on the hill. Uh, but I want like one big feature that you see when you come out of the portal. And uh, it's going to be up there. It's going to be a pot of gold. We're going to make a big, a big black pot with some gold. Uh, gold coins inside, which will just be like um, yellow clay and yellow concrete probably, and then a rainbow coming out of it. So we'll have a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Uh, I don't know how easily that's going to be. Uh, we don't have tons of dyes, um, and some of the dyes are going to be a little bit difficult to get, like uh, mainly just blue and therefore cyan. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to get some resources out here uh, so that we can we can make the hat. I'm going to figure out where this portal is supposed to be, and then we'll get busy and get going. Making a bit of progress here. So this is our hat. I think it looks pretty nice. There's a leprechaun hat. It turns out the portal uh, ended up being right over top of the river, like in the worst spot. Um, and I thought about moving the portal either over there or have it right over here. Um, and it really wouldn't have messed anything up. Uh, it would have been close enough that it, we wouldn't have it. We wouldn't have had any problems with the portals connecting up. But uh, I I like things being uh, a particular way. I guess <laughs> is really what it comes down to. Uh, I like having things kind of neat and tidy, and so uh, and organized. And so I decided to just go with it, uh, and it will allow us to do maybe something a little bit interesting. <laughs> Oh man, as I was saying that, I just pictured like a giant head, giant like face here with a nice orange beard or something. <laughs> Actually do a leprechaun face on this, uh, just sitting there in the uh, in the little ravine. I don't think we're going to do that. That would be kind of ridiculous, but I just got that picture in my head. Um, yeah, so this is coming along. Uh, I want to replace all the floor in here with some black... Uh, some black concrete, uh, which I am, uh, <laughs> this, I, I did have enough stuff for this. I had just barely enough clay. I think I'm all out of, well, I guess I do have some more hardened clay back at Yitterby. All the hardened clay that I brought along, like just the, the unstained hardened clay, uh, I used up on this thing. So I'll have to go back, I suppose, and get some more. Um, and we're going to make the pot of gold next. And that thing, I'm sure, is going to take a lot of resources, a lot of concrete. I think we're going to make it out of the black concrete because uh, we want a nice black block out of that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to have to go, I'm sure, get tons more gravel. We're going to have the same problems that we had in Valentine's Town. Maybe not quite as bad. Uh, I don't think we'll be using quite as much concrete as we did there. I mean, there we had, like, a big tunnel and... A whole bunch of stuff right or with this pot of gold it's basically just going to be a big uh big sphere of black concrete uh but yeah so we'll we'll switch this all out with the black uh this way if you look at it from below it'll kind of look like there's a there's a hole in the hat uh since you can actually see it from below and then uh one last thing we have to do to this we need to add a buckle so I'm going to take out, oh, this pickaxe is so slow. What? Oh, it's, it doesn't have any efficiency on it. Ugh, <laughs> horrible. All right, so we're going to have a buckle go all the way around. 
Uh, so I'll just do like this much for now and I'll do the rest later. Uh, I just want to show what this is going to look like. So we'll do a nice black band around there and then here. Uh, this is going to be the opening. A 3x3 three three opening. And then we're going to have a gold buckle around here. So let's put some more of this belt around. I need to go get some yellow. Uh, do we want yellow hardened clay or yellow concrete? What's going to look better there? Let's do the yellow hardened clay. I have more of that anyways. <laughs> uh, hardened clay is a little bit easier to get than the, than the concrete. So I think we'll have a buckle go around like that. And hopefully that looks kind of neat. And then the doorway will be right in the middle of the buckway, bu uh, the buckle. <laughs> the doorway will be right in the middle of the buckle. Yeah, that could work. Um, it's not amazing, actually. I think, I think we want that black band to go all the way to the bottom. Uh, I don't like that green line there. Uh, eat some food. So let's take this out and put some more black down there and then this might look pretty good and I just need to continue the band all the way around the back so let's take a look here yeah I like that better oh yeah that's good uh, one last thing I might want to do is add some sort of shamrock uh, the only problem is it's it's kind of hard to make a good-looking shamrock at small scale uh, and so I don't know if a shamrock would really if you would be able to tell that it's a shamrock uh, I'll play around with it, but I don't know if, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to make something work. Well, how about that? That's a decent little shamrock, or not shamrock, it's a, it's a four-leaf clover. Shamrocks only have three leaves, uh, but four-leaf clover there on the hat. Very nice. And I built a big pot. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a big cauldron. I like the way that that looked. It's just a sphere, and then I made a little lip on it. So... Now we need to add gold to it. And then once we get the golden, we can add a rainbow coming out of it. Uh, I have a bunch of yellow concrete and yellow hardened clay. I doubt this is going to be enough. Uh, I know we're going to be using a lot here. Uh, I even I even downsized the sphere. I got like four levels of it and like took a step back and was like, that is going to be huge and it's going to take a lot of blocks. So I, I made it a little bit smaller. Uh, but I want this thing to be nice and big and you'd be able to well I mean you could see it even if it was small, but I want it to be something uh, Really significant in the skyline, I guess uh, So we have let's see we got some yellow or concrete and some yellow hardened clay I'm gonna mix these a little bit and I'm just using dirt for my uh, To like get the blocks in there so I don't waste the, <laughs> the hardened clay and the concrete. Uh, so we're just gonna go around and do something like this. Maybe I'll just uh, put some blocks like that. Uh, we'll just uh, mix in different blocks and then we'll go up a little bit. Uh, let's do a little bit more over here. I wanna get a little bit done and then we'll take a look, see what it looks like from down below. So we'll do maybe out to just here. And then we'll do uh, a second layer here. And I might need to, I have a feeling this is gonna look uh, a little too uniform when I first do it. Might need to come back in and uh, rough it up a little bit, make it look uh, less, less uniform. So we'll just do something like this. And maybe put that there. And We'll put uh, clay there. All right. And let's just go see if we can even see this or if we really need to go quite a bit higher. Uh, it is going to be kind of high. There's going to be a nice mound in there. Uh, the main thing is we just need to make sure we can see it clearly from down below. So, like, right now we can't see the gold, uh, but we're, like, right underneath it. So uh, that's to be expected. But if we come over here onto this hill... Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't have to bring it up too much farther, like just maybe a few more levels. That wouldn't be too bad. Oh, I like that. I hear a skeleton. All right, I'm going to take a sleep, and then uh, I'm going to keep working on this mound of gold.
Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. I'm loving it. I gotta say, I uh, I wasn't so sure about these builds. Building a, a giant hat in Minecraft and a giant pot of gold, but I think these are turning out pretty well. I'm surprising myself. So now we got one last thing that I want to do here, uh, and that is to add a rainbow, because the pot of gold, it has to be at the end of the rainbow. So uh, we're going to hop up here. I got a bunch of concrete made. Uh, that was a pain in the butt. <laughs> had to get a bunch of dyes, which wasn't too bad. I did have all the dyes on hand. Um, I did use up pretty much all of my lapis, making the blue and purple and cyan concrete. Uh, and I had to go get a bunch more gravel. Oh, it's still... Gravel hunting is like the bane of my existence right now. Uh, at least with these holiday towns. Uh, I'm not using it really anywhere else. It's just these that are, are being a real pain. I think what I need to do is get a good shovel, uh, get some water breathing potions, and get like an aqua affinity helmet. And then, um, and then just go to the ocean and dig up tons of it and just build up a big stock so that I have it when I need it. Uh, might be something I'll work towards. So we're going to have nine colors here for the rainbow. Uh, one thing I realized, this green... This green is very dull. I might want to edit that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll see what they do with the colors if they do any changes, but it just, it seems odd. It's actually, it's not quite as dull as the green hardened clay, which is what that hat is made out of. But it, it seems so out of place when you put all these colors together. Uh, it is, it's very dull. It's one of the duller colors. Um, so I have, I have this uh, already figured out actually, because I want this thing to curve. And so... Um, I went into plots and I made like an arc or I made a circle of 128 diameter. Uh, so 64 radius and that's going to be the red line. And then, uh, I just, uh, subtracted the radius by one and like figured out the lines and then those don't mesh exactly. So I had to do some altering. Uh, so I need to actually pull up my, uh, my thing in, in my test world. <laughs> need to pull up that on my other screen so I can see what I'm supposed to do here. And I've finished the rainbow up here, so let's hop down and try not to die here. Uh, please don't die. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. And I think I think I'll just take down the ladders for now. Uh, if I have to come up if I have to come back up here, I can do so. But uh, I think it's all done. I think we we're, we're gonna be happy with this. So let's just take all this down. Hi, zombie. There's some things dying around here. And that, that cauldron is, uh, or the pot, is uh, holding lots of mobs inside. It is very dark in there. I did not light it up because I don't really care that much. Uh, as long as I don't have to go in there. And boom. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. I do wish the rainbow went up higher. Maybe the rainbow, if the rainbow was wider, but... If I made it wider, I'd have to like make it double the thickness. Otherwise, it'd be really hard to do. But yeah, I like that. I like that. And by the way, like I said, I, I'm not a big fan of the green. It's very dull. The reason why I put it in there is because I wanted an odd number there. Because that whole thing is odd numbered. And we are missing light blue in there. But light blue just doesn't quite fit in the spectrum. Uh, it doesn't quite work. I do have some here. Uh, oh, I suppose I don't have any cyan though. Uh, but we have like green, light blue. The cyan, it's it's darker than the light blue, but it's greener than the light blue. So it doesn't quite fit. Uh, the light blue doesn't quite fit uh, in there. So uh, it's either leave the green in or I'd have to take the green out and another color. Uh, like take out the green and uh, cyan or green and the magenta or something. So I decided to just leave it in. Uh, but that, I think that's going to be it for St. Patty's Day. Uh, we're just going to spend one episode out here, like I said. I uh, just wanted to get a little bit built here. Something established for the holiday town. And I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it would have been nice to maybe fix this up, make this better. But uh, I, I didn't really bring a lot out here. And I don't want to go back and forth, get more resources and work on this. Uh, we'll just work on that later. Uh, I just wanted to get these two things done, and I'm happy with it. So I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, peoples.